Good morning. Uh, we're going to continue with the function summary of our rational function here. Uh, now it's time to look at increasing and decreasing and relative and max uh, relative min points. And uh, if you remember, we calculated the first derivative earlier um, in the very first video, in fact, or well, second, whatever. Uh, f prime equals x, I've put it in factored form, uh, x times x plus 6 over x plus 3 quantity squared. Uh, we determined that f prime equals zero, implied that x equals zero and x equals negative six. f prime did not exist, implied that x equals negative three. And we remembered that because x could not equal negative, I mean, uh, positive four in the original uh, function, that even though it didn't turn up as a, as a uh, uh, does not exist or zero or whatever, uh, in the in f prime that we still needed to break our number line up with that number into intervals that needed to be included because uh, there's a possibility that things can happen so and the, the function doesn't exist there so we, it really does I mean it's not in the domain so we have to look at it um, so to test for increasing and decreasing we start with our number line and I'm going to call it the, uh, I'm going to put it down here. This is the F prime uh, sine graph. So I have more room up here. I don't know what my intervals are going to be, but there's several points. So uh, I'm going to go uh, from left to right. I got a negative six. Uh, next one on the list is negative three. And the next one on the list is zero. And finally, the last one is four. Um, I'm going to kind of label these uh, f prime equal to zero, uh, f prime uh, uh, does not exist, and f does not exist. I like that at negative three. Right there, uh, f prime equals zero. Actually, f, f prime equals zero and uh, f equals zero, but that's that's okay, it was in the domain. So, um, and then finally four is uh, F, does not exist. That might look a little messy, but anyway, it, it helps to, uh, so that we don't forget what those numbers are because uh, no matter what, we get increasing, decreasing on these intervals around negative three and positive four, we're not gonna get max and min points there because they don't exist on the, uh, those, those aren't in the domain of the original function. So anyway, um, let's see. Uh, we need to test the sign to the left of negative six in the uh, derivative. So to the left of negative six, we get a negative times a negative is a positive. The numerator is squared, so it's a positive. So we get, I'm gonna use a different color. Uh, so we get a positive. And should have probably left more room there. But uh, anyway, that means that f is decreasing on the interval. I mean, increasing. Sorry about that. The first derivative is positive, so therefore the uh, function is increasing on the interval from negative infinity. So that's our first interval from negative infinity to negative 6. And I'm, I don't have enough room to use union symbols. And, I'm just listing intervals. So anyway, uh, from negative six to negative three, um, I'll use a negative two. Uh, negative two plus six is a positive number times a negative two is a negative number. So we have a negative in the numerator. The denominator is squared, it would be positive anyway, but the denominator is squared, so it's always positive. So we have a negative or a positive. So we have a negative number in that interval. So therefore, f, the function f is decreasing. So that's our first interval of decreasing. So it's from negative six to negative three, f is decreasing. And now from negative three to zero, um, I don't know, negative one is just as good as anything else. Negative, uh, negative one plus six is a positive number. So I have uh, negative Negative times a positive is a negative. Again, the, the bottom is, is uh, a uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I was just laughing at myself. It, the result is still the same, but I used negative two in this last interval. That's obviously not in that interval. I'm gonna correct myself right now rather than go back. Uh, I'll use negative four. Uh, negative four times uh, it's a positive two, you're gonna get a positive number down here. Uh, negative four plus three is negative one, but squared is a positive. So you still have a negative over a positive, which gives you a negative and it's, it's decreasing. It's, it's true, I just used the wrong number. Um, to test my interval and just anyway um uh anyway so now i'll test the number between zero and negative three let's try negative one on negative times a positive is a negative over a positive squared is a positive negative over a positive is a negative so again i have uh decreasing f is decreasing f prime is negative f is decreasing so now i have uh the interval from zero to four um, I'll just try one, one times a positive number is a positive number over a positive number squared is positive. So now, and zero is in the domain, so we do have relative min there when we get there, because we go from uh, decreasing to increasing as well as negative six. Negative six is in the domain of F. So we get a positive in that interval, so F is increasing. So now we go from four to infinity, we look look in that interval, and uh, positive, it's, you know, big positive number, big positive number, it's a positive number, so we get a positive, and it's still increasing. Remember, there's a hole at four, though, so that's why we have to, we can't actually list that in our, and I should have been listing my intervals, but anyway, sorry about that. Um, it's still increasing, but it has to, we have to break our intervals up at that point because uh, the f does not exist. So increasing negative infinity to negative six from uh, zero to four and from four to a positive infinity. Uh, decreasing from negative six to negative three, from negative three to zero, and that's it. Um, relative max and min points. Relative max and min points occur when the first derivative goes from positive to negative or negative to positive. Hence, the original function goes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. Did I just say increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing? Um, and the original function is defined. That's very important. Uh, although we don't really have that situation here because we're decreasing, decreasing on both sides of negative three, original function is undefined. Uh, increasing increasing on both sides of four, but it doesn't matter. Um, so, but we do have these points uh, right here. Negative six is in the domain of F. And we go from uh, increasing to decreasing. So we have a relative max point there. And that will be negative six, F of negative six, which I have no idea what it is. And, uh, <laughs> Let's see. Um, let's see. Maybe maybe it's not that hard. I just don't have room to do it here. I'm going to do it in a calculator. So um, negative six cubed uh, minus four times negative six squared. That gives us negative three sixty in the numerator. Uh, let's see, divided by uh, negative six squared minus negative six minus 12. Oh, you get negative 12. Wow, that's, that's pretty sweet. Um, anyway, uh, so the, the point is negative six negative 12, that's the relative max, doesn't necessarily have to be a positive number, positive y value, where it is. And then uh, we go from decreasing to increasing at zero, and we know that that's the point zero, zero on the graph, hopefully. Uh, so that's a relative min point. So we have the point zero, f of zero, 
and then I'm gonna of course just say I don't have to really calculate that I get 0 over negative 12 so 0 0 is a relative minimum point so that's it that's a long part of that